Time now for the morning rush. And we start with Kristen Curry. Kristen. Again, morning. Still looking at the possibility of snow showers out across southern Colorado and the northern mountains. Still pretty spotty, but San Juan's look to be favored. The rest of us with the mix of sun and clouds this afternoon, these will slowly start to taper off overnight, but they do come back tomorrow for the mountain areas. A lot more snow on the way for the weekend. Crystal. Thanks so much, Kristen. As you get ready to head out the door from the day's top local stories, and we start with Sarah Yingling. This morning, APD is investigating a violent crime that has left one person dead. Officers were called out to Bell Avenue right off of Louisiana and Zuni around 1245 this morning. When they got there, they found one person with multiple injuries. That person was later pronounced dead on scene. Right now, APD does not know what happened to this person, and they are asking anyone who may have seen or heard anything to call police. Catherine. This morning, investigators are working to figure out how five locals died. They recovered two more bodies yesterday on the Santa Ana Pueblo. It was a woman and a young child. The FBI confirmed the identity of one of those bodies recovered earlier this week. It's 20-year-old Leticia George. Investigators are still working to identify the other four bodies, but don't suspect foul play at this time. Leticia's sister, Vanessa, has an estranged boyfriend. He says he lost all the sisters and their children Thursday on the Santa Ana Pueblo. How you can help the grieving family coming up in the five facts. Fernanda? Happening today, the city's personnel board will discuss whether a fired APD officer can get his job back. In April of 2014, Jeremy Deere shot and killed 19-year-old car theft suspect Mary Hawks after he claimed she pointed a gun at him. APD fired Deere for repeatedly not turning on his lapel camera. In late 2015, the city's personnel board voted to give Deere his job back. The city refused and sent the case to district court. Now it's back to the personnel board this afternoon. Crystal? This morning, APD needs your help finding this man. Last week, a victim noticed a guy trying to steal his car on the CNM campus. The suspect got into a late model white Chevy Tahoe. He pointed the gun at the victim and fired several shots toward him. Police say the Tahoe has a black custom front grill guard and dark running boards, possibly California license plate. A suspected truck thief is waking up in jail this morning after allegedly macing APD officers. On Sunday, they tried pulling over 24-year-old Michael Hubbard, they say, near Central in Wyoming. He <laughs> took off running, and as officers chased him, officer, uh, police say Hubbard pulled out a can of mace and sprayed an officer in the face. It also hit two other officers. Police say they later found him hiding behind a truck where they say he had meth. The suspected getaway driver involved in a deadly police shooting remains locked up this morning. Police say 35-year-old Audrey Guzman and Gilbert Levanto robbed 17 Metro businesses in three weeks. The detectives tracked down the pair on Saturday after they allegedly robbed a village inn. A judge set Guzman's bond at $50,000 cash or surety. Next month, an accused killer will go to trial for a 2014 murder, but yesterday a judge convicted him in a 2006 cold case kidnapping. DNA linked Mark Chavez to the case where a woman was badly beaten. It wasn't until police arrested him for another crime in 2014 that his DNA linked him to the crime. Chavez has faced uh, man a mandatory 18 years behind bars for that kidnapping. Kristen? Today's metro threat index pretty low, only at a two. We don't have a whole lot to worry about here in the metro. Just some cool temperatures to start in the 40s. We'll finish up the day in the 50s underneath that mix of sun and clouds. Winds out of the west southwest about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Crystal? This morning, a unique petition pushing for an official dog breed of New Mexico is trying to garner more signatures. The petition started on change.org is asking for the quote, Red's dog or stray dogs you see on Pueblos to be named the official state dog. The person who started the petition says it would honor them and bring more awareness to them. So far, they've garnered nearly 300 signatures. Legislative session in New Mexico just six days away, and one New Mexico lawmaker has an idea to help crack down on corrupt public officials. Senator Daniel Ivey Soto's bill would create a bipartisan 12-member board with no elected or governor-appointed officials that would look into tips and complaints and make sure that they're forwarded to the right agency for an unbiased investigation. How about a check on your early morning drive? It's now 6.54. Take a look at our traffic map here. We do have a couple of incidents to tell you about. There's a crash I-40 eastbound right at Unser. Another crash on San Pedro at Osuna Road. On to this this morning and new today. Those standing desks that you see here and there in offices are starting to reach classrooms around the country. A structural engineer designed a wooden standing desk. A teacher friend saw the creation and requested a smaller version for her students. So he launched a standing desk company called Jazzwig. And now they're in more than 25 schools nationwide, giving students a new way to burn off some energy and get some work done. Oh, they look pretty cool. Probably they pretty do. healthy for you. That's interesting how they uh, made them a little smaller for the little guys, <laughs> huh? <laughs>
Pretty cute. All right, time now for the five facts. We'll start with number five, calling all local artists. The city of Albuquerque is looking for you to help with a massive mural design for the wall of PNM's University Area Substation at Silver and Cornell. Mural designs are due by February 10th. You can find more information on the KRQE News app today. On to number four now, some signs creating a road barrier on a Knob Hill street are still in place this morning despite some businesses wanting them gone. The signs that would make that street one way were added about 20 years ago when the city had a prostitution problem on Silver and Morningside. It was to limit access to the area. The city says it helped, but some businesses say they want more access for their customers now. However, other businesses say they still want the signs to stay. At number three, a mix of sun and clouds today with temps in the upper 50s to low 60. 60s that is across the Rio Grande Valley snow up across the northern mountains looking at breezy to windy conditions up over the north and northeast at number two this morning people are talking about outgoing DA Carrie Brandenburg's final words about APD Brandenburg leaves the head prosecutor position after 16 years with a farewell letter to the U.S. attorney Damon Martinez saying quote if any other group of individuals were acting the way that APD has allegedly been acting some of us in law enforcement might refer to them as a continuing criminal enterprise the chief says that her allegations are baseless. The full story is on our website. Number one, now this morning, the FBI will continue looking into the deaths of two sisters and their three children after their bodies were found on the Santa Ana Pueblo. The feds did confirm one of the bodies is that of 20 year old Letitia George. They're waiting for OMI to determine cause of deaths for all of the family members. At this time, investigators say they do not believe that anyone else is responsible for the deaths. The family started a GoFundMe page to help with family finances. You can find details on our website and on our Care Tree News app of how you can help them out in their time of need.